Hey guys, what's up? This is Shelf Black from shelfblack.com and uh, Instagram and Twitter and the Electronic Curiosity Collective and all that stupid stuff. Um, today I just wanted to do like a little demo for two of these pieces of gear that I have. First one is the Korg Monotron Delay, which is a very simple and basic synthesizer from Korg, but I think hands down it is the absolute best piece of gear you can buy for like under 50 bucks. This thing is like dirt cheap and it's totally awesome. Uh, and I want to show you that. And then I also want to kind of look at uh, this piece of gear that I bought. This is a modded tape deck made by a guy named uh, Cryptic Species Mutations. Cryptic Species Mutations. I'll put a link to his page in uh, the description of the video. But this is basically a modded tape deck with a speed wheel. And uh, it's awesome. You can plug it into stuff. You can make your own tape loops and uh, mess with the speed of stuff you're playing back, and it's really cool. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of that. First though, let's show you the, the Korg Monotron Delay. Now, uh, at, its, at its essence, this is just a, a ribbon synthesizer. That's the, the basic part of it. Now the fun is all in these little knobs here, okay? You got your delay. Have your feedback knob, your time knob. Uh, the, for the filter, it's the cutoff. It's your filter sweep. LFO, you have the intensity and the rate. Okay, so I'll show you kind of what some of these do. Here's the filter. It's your standard sweep. Make it pretty cool. Now let me show you next where the fun lies. You start messing with the delay and the feedback. like some space music for sure. Welcome to Space Lounge, shout out. Intensity. Great. How freaking awesome was that? <laughs> and that was just, you know, me basically messing around with these knobs. But I absolutely love this thing. Now the cool part is, um, like right now I just have it hooked up to this little speaker, but um, it basically has a headphone out. So that you can use to plug into like a spot on your board. Now the auxiliary in, that's where this baby really shines, is you can hook this thing up to like a any of the Cork Volcas. Uh, that's the easiest one to hook up to because it's just a little three and a half millimeter, like a headphone jack. Um, not to say, if you have the right cable, you can hook it up to any instrument, but just for ease of use, any of the Korg Volcas, like the sample, the FM, the keys, the beats, you can run that those through this thing and adjust all those parameters, and you can make it sound like really freaking crazy. Um, another really cool thing that I like to do is with most of your drum machines, not all of them, but some of them, I use the Drum Brute Impact, for example. There's like four or five different drum uh, individual outs on the back of it. So you can just run like the kick or the snare or the FM or the hi-hats uh, by themselves. And you can like uh, plug, let's say I run the snare out. So I'll put the snare out into this and then I can adjust and make crazy delays and stuff onto the... Uh, onto the individual out of that drum. Um, if you guys are familiar with the Black Zinda album, that's an album I did with Steven Zinda. Um, it's more kind of electronic indie rock type stuff, but it's very awesome. There's a song called Process. It's number eight on there. Um, and uh, if you go listen to that, you'll hear I actually use this uh, on those drums in that song. So it's pretty cool. Um, now I want to show you some other stuff. Um, I'm kind of talking about how you can use this with other instruments. I'm going to show you how you can use this with maybe something like this. All right. 
So, first off, let me plug this bad boy in. Just uh, talk amongst yourselves for a moment while I try to do this. Oh boy. Here, and then we're gonna plug this baby in. We're gonna go through the out into the microphone in onto this bad boy, onto this bad mamma jamma. First, I wanna show you this thing. All right, we're just gonna, I think I rewound it already. Nope, I didn't. That's why you gotta always prepare before you do stuff. Anyways, I recorded like a uh, drum loop onto this tape, and it's something that I used in one of my previous videos. So basically, I was uh, playing like a slowed down drum loop. So there's the drums. That was super fast, in case you couldn't tell. Now I'm using the speed wheel. Super slow. You can kind of warble it. Pause button. You get the point. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, uh, you can basically use the record functionality on this tape and put some of this stuff to tape. All right, you ready? We're gonna set this thing up, play and record. A little bit of feedback. See how many fucking times I can say you get the point. All right, now I'm gonna rewind that. Hopefully, we recorded that. All right, here we go. And I'll mess with the speed while I'm playing it back. Freaking awesome was that? All right, so that was just that. Remember, you can do, you can plug in anything to anything. That's what I like about Dallas uh, music creation so much is that you know, sitting in front of a computer for me is not fun. It doesn't really do anything. But when I have like things in my hands that I can turn knobs and and mess with, it's uh, it's a whole different world for me, and I, that's why I like it so much. So let me show you one other cool thing you can do with this. All right, is this has a condenser mic, right? Condenser mic. Ooh. So let's do a little, make sure I don't get some feedback here. Oh yeah, feedback all up in the place. All right, so the cool thing about this now is the condenser mic. I am going to just record my own voice, my, the soothing sounds of Shelf Black's voice. And uh, 
Now, this would be awesome for, like, let's say I wanted to put some lyrics into a song or something. I could record them onto a tape and then, you know, manipulate them while they're playing and make them sound all crazy. Or, uh, you know, any other kind of sampled sound that you wanted to use maybe within your home or out and about. Or, you know, you go record, like, a friggin' waterfall or something and then mess around with it. That's half the fun. Let's say it's Halloween, which I just missed. But let's say you want to prank your neighbors or your wife or something, and you could be like, uh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. So you could also do that. Um, so now we're going to stop it. I'm going to rewind it, and we're going to play that back. Within your home. Whoops. Didn't go back far enough. Didn't go back far enough. Turn it back up a little bit. Get some feedback here. Oh, yeah. Feedback all up in the place. All right. So, the cool thing about this now is the condenser mic. I am going to just record my own voice. My voice is really this shelf black's voice. And, uh, yeah, this should be awesome for, like, let's say I want to put some lyrics into a song or something. I could record them onto a tape and then, you know, manipulate them while they're playing and make them sound all crazy or, uh, you know, any other kind of sampled sound that you want to use, maybe within your home or out and about or, you know, you go record like a freaking waterfall or something and then mess around with it. That's half the fun. Let's say it's Halloween, which I just missed. But let's say you want to prank your neighbors or your wife or something and you could be like, uh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Yeah. So you can also do that. Um, so now we're going to stop it. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. All right. I'm so excited about this stuff. So again, just to recap, that was the modded uh, tape deck made by Cryptic Species Mutations. He's got a YouTube page. He's got an Instagram page. Super cool guy. He makes all kinds of like one of a kind modded and circuit bent stuff. And then the other items we uh, demoed today was the Korg uh, Monotron Delay. Again, in my mind, this is the absolute best bang for your buck if you want to just get something and start messing around with it or you want to create some like crazy space, chaos, post-apocalyptic sounds. The Korg Monotron Delay is super fun and you can hook it up to anything else and it's like dirt cheap. So thank you so much, guys. Um, check me out on Instagram, YouTube. Uh, Black Zinda album is now out on Spotify. Thanks so much for sticking around and listening to this. I'm going to put it up on the website. And uh, if you're interested, uh, just uh, subscribe and uh, keep coming back for more. All right, everybody. Peace.